Today I want to show you about the lock sensor, or some people will call it the lock status sensor. These are a little device that hook up to your alarm system, your wireless alarm system. Uh, these go into the door, and the wire goes down, there's a box at the bottom, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I want to show you how to troubleshoot these and how to hook them up properly. So let's get started. So when you order the lock sensor or the lock status sensor, this is obviously going to be installed in the door so you don't see any of this wire, but I want you to see what it looks like. Uh, this one actually has the little pin for a door that does not have a tailpiece or a actuator pin um, or a lock on the exterior. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and remove that because on this particular case, this pin is going to be set up through there just like that. So I have this lock sensor hooked up to my voltmeter here. Now, as you can see, it shows open leads. And so when this is lined up with that and you go to lock the door, in this case, locking the door is going to be counterclockwise, so it's going to be this way. You can hear it makes contact. And when you unlock the door, it stops. So on this sensor, there's also a range. So from, from these two points, when you get that little arrow there, it's going to make contact. And from there, it's going to make contact. So anything between here and here is a dead zone. And anywhere between there and there is a dead zone. So if you have one of these that's unresponsive, try flipping this around 180 degrees that way and then reinstalling it. You can do this in the door, then try reinstalling it to see if it works. So if by chance you order one of these doors without the key cylinder, that is where you would use this piece. This would actually go in here like this, and that extra piece would go in that end. Then this handle would have a little tab that would go on the opposite side of that, and then they would turn. Since this door is in the unlocked position, I want to make sure that my key cylinder is in the unlocked position. So when we go to lock our door, it's going to go this way. So as you can see, it doesn't turn. So you want to flip this this way. So when we lock the door, it's going to go and allow it to go because this only spins 180 degrees. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this in here like this. It's, it's got the relief in there for the key cylinder. That's how it's going to fit in the door, just like that. And of course, again, this is in the door. I'm just putting it like this so you, to give you a good visual. So since we got that in, let's go ahead and try the lock. Press the little safety tab in. There you go. When the door is unlocked, just like that. Okay, I got an unresponsive lock status sensor on this door. So when someone locks the door, the lock status sensor is not responding. So I want to show you how to fix it. Okay, first we're going to start by removing this handle. Now on this particular handle, you have to use a really big wrench underneath here and undo it. Okay, we got that off. That's going to expose us to a screw here. And on this particular handle, someone put it on in the wrong position. So we're going to push the little safety tab in there. Then we're going to do that and that'll expose us. There's this screw and we'll put the handle set on properly when we do it all towards the end. Pull the screw up and we should be able to take the handle set off. And just like that. Take out the exterior handle and see what it looks like behind there. If you have an unresponsive lock status sensor, try rotating this 180 degrees the other way. For this lock status sensor, you have to make sure that this, this is installed in there and that goes through like that. So that way, when you turn this, it moves the sensor. Now, the reason why that's like that is because the handle goes on like this. So that goes in there like so. But if this little pin falls out and it's missing, this whole status sensor could actually be mortised up. And let me show you how to do that. So before we tug on this to make sure for it to go up, 
we're gonna take off this inspection cover and check the wire, make sure the wire behind there is not pinched. Meant to do that. Okay, here is the aftermarket sensor that the alarm company installed. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. That way, when we pull on that lock status sensor, we know that the wire, we're not gonna pull any wires out. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and remove this like that. Then I'm gonna slide this up. Now I'm gonna take a pencil and then I'm gonna ch chisel out the wood behind it. Okay, with our pencil mark drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this lock box. Okay, I'm gonna remove it like that. Okay, that's what it looks like from the back side. And what I wanna do, see what I want to happen now is I want this status sensor to go in here like that. So this sensor will never fall down. So that way it's lined up with that pin perfectly. Okay, now I'm gonna take this rotary bit file and I'm gonna go up to this line and I'm going to go up in an angle like this and mortise some wood out. By routing at the wood, that's gonna allow this to go up further. And let me put the lock box in and I'll show you. Okay, now that I got the lock box installed, this will go up and you see it's gonna line up perfectly now. Okay. Now we can line that up like that and we'll lift all the way up so it lines up perfectly. Okay, with that flat like that. Now we can put in the other piece. Okay, we're gonna put the door in the lock position. Okay, by pressing that little safety tab in and then turning that, that's gonna have those stick out. Now we can go ahead and install that piece. Okay, that piece goes in there like that. And since the door is in the lock position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that that's the lock position because you want the handle to be straight like that in the lock position. So now we're gonna go ahead and line up these two pieces. Just like that. And then we move it this way to unlock it. Now we'll put our screws in. Tighten the screws. Okay, we'll try the lock by pressing the safety button in. And I hear the alarm beeping at me, so it's letting me know that it's working. And now we'll go ahead and put this bottom piece back on. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tighten this up until this tightens up just like that. Okay, another way to check the reliability to make sure to see if it's the switch or if it's your alarm sensor. Like you see, I got my voltmeter hooked up. And I make sure right here, and it's showing open leads. And then when I go to turn this, by pressing in the little anti-slam device, lock it. And then as you can show, now it's showing continuity. Now I'm gonna open it. Now it shows open leads again. So that is a way to troubleshoot to know if your lock status sensor is working or not. Install this, put it in like that. It is a very tight fit. And then I'll just take the wire, just like that. Go ahead and reinstall that cover. And that's all done. Well, that was easy, right? I hope this video gives you a better understanding about a lock sensor on a Marvin door. And this empowers you to get the job done right and hooked up properly. And if this video helped you out, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.